Hello everyone out there, it's Kendra here, Miss Kincaid. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel and for watching this video. So today I would love to show you guys how I got the perfect Bantu knot out on my tapered natural hair. So I do already have a video of a Bantu knot out, but that was on my TWA. It wasn't quite tapered back then. So I wanna show you guys how I got this gorgeous look on my tapered natural hair. So stay tuned if you guys would love to see how I created this gorgeous look. So to start, the product that I'm going to be using is the Cantu Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioning Repair Cream, one of my favorites and one of my staples. Currently my hair has been wash conditioned and it is damp. So I'm going to just take a dime size amount of that product and I'm going to work it into my hair very well. I'm going to focus on my ends and I'm gonna make sure that those ends are saturated with the product. And also I'm gonna make sure that the ends are saturated with water because like I always tell you guys, the ends are one of the most important parts when doing this style. You guys always ask me, hey, I do my Bantu knot out, but when I unravel them, I get a big ball of fluff. This could be because one, you may need to clip your ends, and two, you're not taking care of your ends when you do this style, so you have to pay close attention. Make sure you take care of those ends, tuck them well. Make sure they're saturated with the product well so that they can turn out exactly like the rest of the hair turns out. So here I am just focusing on those ends, making sure they're saturated, making sure that I'm twisting them well, and then I'm just gonna start twisting my hair into a knot, and I'm gonna make sure that I tuck my ends in well. So once I'm done, I just continue to do that on the remaining sections of my hair. So if you guys watched my last video, you know that my Bantu knots do not stay in by themselves and that I have to add a bobby pin to the roots of the knot. So I'm just showing you how I do that process here. So it is the next day and I'm gonna start off with this Argan Oil from Cream of Nature. I'm just going to spray it all over my hair just um, to make sure that I prevent any frizz. And I'm also going to spray it on my hands before I start separating um, my Bantu knot. So here I'm just taking them down by twisting them in the opposite direction that I twisted them before um, to, uh, to install them. So I'm twisting them in the opposite direction to take them out and look at them. They look so juicy, so defined. And I think I tucked the ends really well because they looked really, really, really defined. So here I am just spraying a little bit of that argan oil onto my hands just to prevent any frizz while I'm separating the hair. And while I'm separating the hair, I'm making sure that I twirl the hair in the direction that I set it in. So 
So you guys already know the deal. I'm just gonna take my pick and I'm gonna raise the roots to give myself more volume and to get rid of those annoying parts. Now before I go any further, I'm going to take my Cantu Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioning and Repair Cream and I'm going to put that on the areas that I did not get to Bantu Knot because it was too short. So that is around my sides and the back of my hair. Um, so I'm just going to apply a little bit there because I'm going to be twisting my hair. All right, so to twist the hair, I'm gonna be taking this soft bristle brush. You can use a sponge, a twisting sponge, and they sell them at any beauty supply store. They also sell this brush at any beauty supply store. So I'm just gonna take it and I'm just gonna rub it around my hair. Now keep in mind that I am not taking the brush all the way to the scalp because that's gonna be brushing the hair. So I'm just gonna gently lay it on top of my hair and I'm gonna go in circular motions to create the twist. So this is the final look before I cut my hair. And this is the final look after I cut my hair. So this is probably five or six hours later. As you can see, it's a little bit frizzy, but the curls are still very defined. It's still very full and it looks very fierce with the haircut. If you have not seen the video of how this haircut was created, I will definitely link it in the description box below. Please let me know what you think about this style in the comment section below. And as always, I appreciate you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and rate this video. Thumbs up if you would love to see more haircuts. And I will talk to you guys on my next video. Bye-bye.